Hi, this is Tech Kim. I hope you're ex excited about the National STEM Video Game Challenge as I am. I've already got some ideas for a game, but I want to break them down into manageable chunks. So today I'm going to show you uh, how I'm using variables and logic to do a matching um, part of my game. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a referee and then four objects that I can do matching on. So if you want to uh, follow along, you can grab four objects. Uh, one thing I did is I renamed the sprites, and I'm going to go ahead and rename this one to Tennis Ball so it's clear. And the way we use, are going to use variables is they are going to help us keep track of, excuse me, keep track of what is going on. So by matching, the user is going to take um, the beach ball and hopefully match it to the B and the tennis ball and match it to the T. And if they get it correct, they win. If they do this, they don't win. So we need to keep track of when the user has it on the right um, letter or not. So I'm going to make a variable called um, B letter to keep track of what's going on with the B letter. And you can see it, it um, shows it here. And we can take that off. It, this is great to have now, but once the game is ready, we can just click it off. I'm going to make another variable called T letter. All right, and we'll just put that over here for now. And then what I want to do is let the space bar be the thing that lets us know the user's ready for us to check. So we're going to put a when space is pressed, and I'm going to need an if statement. And we're on the B right now, so if that B is touching the beach ball, so we're going to go to touching, beach ball, then we want to change the variable and you see it it defaults to zero so we obviously want to change that to one and that'll let us know um, now it is on the beach ball now one cool thing is we can duplicate this code and then just drop it on the T go to the T and then we'll have to change it so now when the T is touching the tennis ball we want to set T letter to one all right, we can actually go ahead and test this out. Um, do that. I'm using the referee to give the instructions. So let's try to put the beach ball on the T and the tennis ball on the B. And that should not change these values when I do space. Great. Now if I do it the other way, they change. Um, now my referee should be letting us know that we won. And then if I wanted to restart the game, you'll see that the I have to reset the variables to zero. So let's do that first. So we're in T. So when um, the flag is clicked, we always want to make sure that our variable is set to um, zero. So that's the T. I'll duplicate this code, put it on the B, and we'll just make sure that is set to zero. And then the other thing we need to do is have our referee check that when the space bar is pressed, um, are all those things correct? And we're going to do another if, but this time we're going to do if then else. And we want to do operators here. And we're going to need an and because we need, so we need even another one, several conditions to be true. So if, oh, and we also need equals. In each of these. But we just need, sorry, I had done a, two, a three at the last time I did this. Okay, so if B letter is equal to one and T letter is equal to one, then we have won the game. We can say, you won. If not, we need to say, try again. All right, let's see. Put our things back here. Start there. You see, we got reset to zero. That's great. So again, let me put the beach ball on the T and the tennis ball on the B, and we should get a try again. And I'm going to put them back in the right place. We won. So the only other thing.